Welcome back, Deadites and Ghost Beaters. If you're new to the channel, I am Old Head Gaming, and here's a preface for two things. One, in no way is this any kind of leak or any kind of insider information. I haven't heard anything about this existing at all. This was strictly for fun because you guys hit a goal during one of our subathons that you would be able to create a video for me to make, and I'm making it. And during that time, I allowed basically for about two and a half weeks on either the community page of the YouTube or in our Discord, there was a channel for it. If you're not a member of the Discord, the link's in the description below where you could nominate a movie, a comic book, a series, whatever you wanted. There was even a nomination for me doing a baseball crossover. And you could do whatever you wanted, and then people could up like that and just add additional votes to it. And then at the end of that two and a half weeks, I took all the votes, add them together, and the top four were left remaining. Then top four was put on the community page of our YouTube, and you guys were able to vote until the very last second, and here's how the final votes came out. And as you can see, the final four were Dead Alive, which if it weren't for The Lord of the Rings would be my absolute favorite Peter Jackson film. Hell, I even played Golem for Christ's sake. Number three was Resident Evil, and then there was this back and forth struggle, and I didn't even know until the very last second who was gonna win between Star Wars and Stranger Things. But Stranger Things won, so this is gonna be a Stranger Things video. Number two, there will be spoilers because I needed to construct this panel. And now, the Mega Mondo Kamehameha version of what is going to be the Stranger Things expansion. I didn't even do just an update where you had a couple of things. Like, this is a $30 expansion in my mind, and this is where I went. Now, of course, with any kind of update, there's going to be free stuff. And the first thing you're going to receive is a map of Upside Down Hawkins. That's going to include everything you would think. The laboratory, the buyer's house. You know, the school, like everything with the crackling and disgusting ash falling down and vines crawling all over the place. Huge. We get a map to start off. What else do we get for free? Much like the fact that you can only use the Death Coaster on Kandar, you would be able to use the, a new car on Hawkins as well, and that would be Surfer Boy Pizza. The van would, that was pretty much prominent in Season 4 because they crossed country trying to get back to Hawkins will be available on the Hawkins map. And the third and final thing that would be free to everyone would be weapons. We always get new weapons, right? A new melee weapon and a new range weapon. The new melee weapon would be a guitar. Eddie's guitar that he uses in the upside down. You can swing it around. Hell, I'll even give you an emote. You can emote to Master of Puppets. Why not? Because, you know, this is my made-up creation. I can do whatever the hell I want. So the first time we get our first emote associated with a weapon. And of course, Kelly fans will be excited because we're going to get Murray's Flamethrower. As the final weapon, so Kelly fans will finally be able to get to use a flamethrower thanks to Murray's actions in the Gulag in Russia. Now, that would be all the free stuff. All that free 99 goodness, and actually it's a pretty large amount of shit you would get for nothing. But here's what you get for your $30, and we're gonna start with premium skins. And by premium skins, I mean character swaps. You take one character, and the skin changes them to someone else, and it starts off with Annie Noby. Annie's gonna be swapped out for... Winona Ryder's Joyce Byers. So that's your first skin. There's one for each class. Mia Allen is going to get swapped out for Maya Hawks, Robin Buckley. The Getly, Ed Getly, is going to be swapped out for Joseph Quinn's Eddie Munson. And finally, the last character swap will be the Blacksmith being swapped out for Brett Gelman's Murray, who I feel is just a character that would be a fun one to play. Now, the reason I chose those specific skins is I was trying to find characters to add to the game that didn't get their own character in the game and kind of have similar features so the character swap wasn't really that hard. Now, they would have their own original voice lines as well as the lines they would normally say in the game, so you get some cool additional features to it, and that would be four skins, one for each class. Now, the question is then who is getting added to the game? And finally, I decided I would do one demon and four survivors. Five additional characters, and I'm going to try to keep this as different from Dead by Daylight's chapter as well, which is why I did the full map for Hawkins instead of just the laboratory, and it's going to be about the size of what you would think of the big map. Now, let's start on the demon side, and I, you have really two choices, and I took them both, actually. The first 
is our demon is going to be Vecna. Now, Vecna's elites are going to be demo puppies because, let's be honest, they work for Vecna in the first place. And his basics are going to be the bats. Now, to make the bats viable, you make about twice the size in a hover location right around the chest. So the hitbox isn't awful. You can easily hit them. They're going to be able to fight back. They have the long tongues where they can latch on and claw. So it makes it an easy peasy lemon squeezy kind of transition. Now, for these, all five of them, I'm not going to go into full perks. I'm only going to talk about their active ability. And for Vecna, his active ability is going to be called Upside Down Pillars. Now, if you've seen it, this is the part where he cracks people and then puts their soul basically into a pillar. So that way he can free the Upside Down into the real world. And when a survivor is down, Vecna can place a survivor on a pillar, which has increased the damage of all units by 20% and lengthens the resurrection process by 15%. So you first have have to break them off the pillar before you can even start resurrecting them so that is the first thing also if a member is on a pillar you have to break the pillar before you can get the soul so the pillars come to make it very hard to get players back up and would be a huge advantage for demons if you're actually looking for a demon that's going to go for kills before the book now on the survivor side, I'm going to give you one for each character, and we're going to start off with leader, and that's going to be Jim Hopper, and his ability will be called Pit Fighter. When activated, it's live for 30 seconds, Hopper gets increased melee damage of 2% and increased weapon speed of 0.5% for every kill, has a 90 second cooldown. Now his extensive amount of battles has led to Jim being great at hand to hand combat, and hell, he even killed a Demogorgon with a sword, so come on, the man's ready for it. Next up would be our warrior, and that's going to be Mama Steve, Steve Harrington. Probably my favorite character in the entire Stranger Things series, and his ability is going to be called the Babysitter. For every party member within 15 kilometers who is under half health, Steve gains 25% aggro from all AI demons and increases ballast bar damage by 10% and damage by 5%. Steve is counted as a party member. This ability has an 120 second cooldown. It's very powerful, but it also allows Steve to protect everyone, which is, let's be honest, what he is known for. He always takes the lead. He always throws himself in danger to make sure the kids or Nancy or Robin or anyone try to escape. And if there is anyone who deserves to be a mega tank dealing some serious damage protecting people it's obviously steve our hunter is going to be 11 aka l hopper ability is called psychic scream 11 can convert stamina into light and heavy psychic attacks which basically would use the same button as as normal melee attacks but they have range damage of up to 15 meters and can increasingly stack would be applicable to all melee based perks so like final word any of those types of additional hits on the end of combos would be applicable has a cooldown of 60 seconds now it is a melee attack with range which is kind of a cool thing would be something she would be the only one to actually be able to do and finally our support would be dustin henderson his ability would be called Cerebro. By collecting metal scraps, Dustin can create his baby satellite Cerebro that pings chest, chumps, amulets, and the demon for 10, 20, 30 kilometer radius, leveled through the game using pink Fs, and has a 75 second cooldown. It would cost him five scraps glow. So basically, kind of like, think of like Daredevil Vision. They send out these little pings. Everything shows up. You can go collect your stuff. You can also see the demons trying to sneak up on you, which would be a really cool thing to have. Now, it wouldn't take up to six pink F to start to first be able to unlock the ability, much like you would have with, say, Blacksmith or Ruby when you're trying to activate their ability perks. And that would be really cool thing. Cerebro would be something completely different. Um, it wouldn't be tremendously overpowered, but it'd be very helpful for survival teams especially when you're going against Vecna who's gonna be very powerful and there you have it this is my vision of the stranger things expansion if we're gonna go big we might as well go big right like this is what you wanted I did a huge massive update tell me what you think would you change some characters do you think some of the perks would be better with whatever you come up with I want to hear your thoughts if we're doing this expansion let's do it together give me all your comments give me all your thoughts let me know I want to hear in the comments below as always thanks for watching and later mates